Now let's look at a couple of uh, strategic questions you have to ask. So we start off to uh, ask ourselves, how can we generate new demand when we consider supply chain management? It's all about demand and supply go hand in hand. Basically, there are five charity. Okay, no matter you open up new market to generate new demand, or you consider new channel such as from offline to online to B2B to B2C, to B2C, to B2 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 or new product like the palm based uh, product, uh, same XX growth means same market growth, drive same channel growth, drive same product growth, or the last one is uh, go for merger and acquisition. Okay. And second question, uh, not talk, just forget about uh, open up new factory, but with your existing production capacity, how could I improve when well, not my productivity, improve my operation efficiency? Can I go for smart manufacturing? Can I go for industry 4.0? But what is that? We're going to cover that later, okay? And um, and I also mentioned about you know uh, some of my clients they 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 go for uh, open new factory in uh, uh, Belt and Road countries. Then you have to uh, consider you know uh, this is the competition yeah with your competitor. How can I speed up the pace of new factory setup in those countries? Okay, including ERP because if you have experience to uh, set up a new factory. Even talking about the system itself will take you at least a year, one or two years. Yeah. But some provider like SAP are uh, already offering cloud ERP. Okay. So you just do configuration, just spend a few days' time. You 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 can open or set up a, a new system for for the new factory. Okay. And uh, the fourth question is how can you strengthen your supplier level? Because you open up more person. Um, uh, establishment in other uh, location, then you will need the new supplier to help you. Okay, how can I strengthen your supplier network? And uh, onboarding process is also quite clumsy because I mentioned quite a number of um, uh, exist, uh, the company today, they still heavily rely on uh, Excel uh, manual process, no matter the onboarding process, but also the contract management. Uh, compound management, all manually, done manually, heavily done manually, okay? And uh, logistic, the last question is uh, logistic and transportation optimization, also a, a habit. Because, uh, uh, go back to example, like the uh, paper industry, yeah? Because they open up new factory overseas in Vietnam, in Thailand, uh, for the semi, uh, semi goods, the puff, they have to ship back the puff back to China, okay? So uh, if you, you have to ship back something from Thailand or Vietnam back to China, you have to consider different carrier because the logistic uh, cost, the price will be changed from day to day. They are quite quite fast rate, okay? And also you have to consider different constraints, uh, like the lead time of the shipment, uh, like uh, the manufacturing uh, uh, lead time of uh, different goods, and also your warehouse uh, capacity, and also uh, the pub is kind of chemical will will have expiry day okay so you can't keep the pub not used for more than three months time so you have to when you plan out your transportation if you need a optimal solution how can you do do this if you why on excel will take a lot of time right can system help you can ai help you that's the question you have to ask okay let's look at uh, the new supply chain framework and um, I put them, I put uh, different concepts into five boxes at high level, strategic level. Uh, the focus we have to move, not just talk about uh, uh, a lead, uh, cost leadership or uh, um, delivery fulfillment. We also have to address agility and resilience. Okay. Uh, it's all about how quick we're able to respond to market change. Okay. So uh, that come come up with you know some new new concept like supply chain control tower. I'm going to illustrate more to you. And the uh, middle boxes uh, is about operation level. Supply chain is all about demand and supply management together. 
and um, the left hand side, you know, the idea of open up new market channel product, XX Golf M and I already go through with you. The middle middle box, I highlight you know couple of uh, uh, concept uh, in blue color. Uh, those in blue color, I'm going to cover in uh, a little bit detail because I I can't cover everything today because uh, time is limited. Yeah. So e procurement smart manufacturing industry four point zero. Uh, we will be coming up in uh, in next slides, okay? And um, the the box underneath will be uh, the talent management, yeah. Because of uh, the new technology like RPA, like RPA will be you know uh, some new terms uh, you might first time heard about it. But uh, AI, you you should heard about AI, ML, big data, right? Blockchain, okay. And uh, the question is, how can you um, upskill your talent to master those new technology for your company okay so you need to consider talent development on those areas and um, you to, to be company heavily rely on it guys yeah we heard about you know some new job title called data scientist okay we speak to uh, some technical <laughs> it person but today uh gala also mentioned one term called uh, citizen data scientist it's all about how we can upskill the layman, the accounting staff, the HR staff, able to master big data. Okay, they can handle data analytics by layman. Okay, we so call you know a uh, knowledge worker. Same concept, but using different different wording, right? So um, so uh, citizen data scientist also quite trendy, quite juicy, yeah? also uh, a strategic direction for company to consider. And uh, likewise, citizen AI uh, and engineer also not talking about IT guy, but also the layman user. Okay, yeah. So for the uh, blue blue color terms, I going to um, illustrate um, go go deep dive more uh, for you. Uh, okay. So let's the first one. Let's look at uh, supply chain control tower. I'm going to play the video. Uh, just a second. So can you hear? Supply chain planning yeah. calls for insight, know-how, fast thinking. That's a tall order, but with true multi-enterprise visibility, informed real-time action is easy to pull off. SAP Supply Chain Control Tower puts you in the driver's seat for fast insight and instant access, ready for what's next. Supplies are down, demand up. Not an ideal inventory balance. The sort of crisis that requires action, not just any reaction. You need to fix it. Smart alerts don't just tell you what you already know. They help solve the problem by putting it in the right context. You can analyze supply chain performance data in real time. Make what if analyses across internal and external systems. Untangling knots down the whole line. Global end-to-end -end visibility of your entire supply network at a glance. To predict financial impacts and make the best decision, you correct supply chain disruptions before they hold up business. The powerful algorithms of the SAP Integrated Business Planning Platform give you advanced decision support. Decide quickly, respond quickly, and you can collaborate with the right people instantaneously. Open cases, assign tasks, create action plans, and track their execution now. SAP Supply Chain Control Tower. From insight to action for optimized supply chain management. Get started now. Okay, I think uh, from the video, you might have about a couple of uh, Element key elements there. I try to summarize. They are um, uh, first, you know, uh, uh, the control tower provide you uh, the end-to-end -end real time visibility. Okay, so you, you you grab all the data into a single platform, and the platform can also provide smart alert. Okay, to alert you with when some some new new thing happen, right? And uh, you able to uh, perform a what if scenario analysis. So. Um, Actually, um, um, to deal with crisis, I believe supply chain control tower is a necessity for you to 
to uh, master the situation. Okay. Uh, now move on. Oh, sorry. Now uh, move to uh, what new capability to build. The table here is from uh, McKenzie uh, on what capability a company had to consider had to build. Message here actually echo the same elements in supply chain framework I just mentioned to you. Uh, from supply, sorry, from, from demand side, uh, you look at the table here, you see the only category management is the uh, same as uh, uh, creating demand uh, for new channel, new market. And uh, you see here uh, personalization, loyalty optimization, etc. is same. Uh, it's like uh, the concept of uh, same channel growth, uh, drive same store growth, whatever. And uh, you also see, you know, production um, innovation for new product um, in uh, operation and supply chain. Uh, you also see um, the idea of uh, what if scenario analysis and supply chain control tower also mentioned there, right? And uh, uh, for the human capital, you also see a, a term uh, is which is uh, uh, democ democratizing the use of data. Uh, actually, the meaning of that is same as uh, citizen data scientist and citizen AI uh, engineer. Okay. Um, so uh, let me move on. Um, uh, now we see um, uh, some illustration uh, for the uh, smart manufacturing and industry 4.0. The left hand side picture is uh, one of our kinds of factory in Europe. Uh, you could see only robots working there without people. <laughs> okay, but I, I have to uh, emphasize um, uh, automation is not eliminating people. Uh, automation is to help improve quality, okay, with zero defect and free up people's time to focus on more high value tasks. Okay, we, we let all the routine tasks to be handled by robot, okay. And the right hand side is an uh, illustration of a smart factory in uh, Industry 4.0 era, uh, which includes using IoT device for uh, productivity measures, um, predictive machinery and asset maintenance, and smart energy monitoring. And uh, here we see supply chain 4.0, which is about, you see the um, Crystal ball there is, is about end to end data integration. So you grab uh, everything, all the data uh, from uh, in house uh, and also from your upstream supplier, your downstream uh, client, all into a single platform like uh, the concept of uh, supply chain control tower. And uh, automation, you have considered automation through robotic, autonomous truck drones for the delivery and uh, predictive planning, uh, optimization for uh, transportation routing as well. Pictures uh, at the left hand side uh, show you a success project from uh, Kim Kimberly Clark who used drones for warehouse inventory management. Okay, let's look at uh, digital procurement. Um, I believe um, still a lot of companies today still um, work with conventional way in procurement. Uh, say for example, uh, if you purchase a new logo, you have to uh, fill in a paper form, uh, which is a request and send to your manager for sign off. And then the paper will pass on to procurement team and uh, they will uh, get a couple of calls from suppliers for comparison for email, fax, back and forth. But contract actually with supplier done manually, handled manually in separate system, usually um, in terms of work or Excel. Compliance uh, today is still difficult to enforce and handle in, uh, in those companies because uh, they, they heavily rely on uh, manual process. But now looking into uh, digital procurement, the keys here are paperless, automation, uh, right on portal and platform for standardization and uh, compliance enforcement is done auto automatically by system. Okay, 
Now let's look at a concept called uh, by the planning. One second. So the platform here is uh, like you buy from Taobao, right? You go to the catalog and select product you want to buy, okay? Now you see the person uh, would like to get a new monitor and then uh, the item will go to the shopping cart automatically, right? So the experience is, uh, is like e-commerce. So user-friendly without chaining. All digital, paperless. Yeah, because uh, this video will uh, take time, so I might uh, stop here. So I just recap. Uh, when you write on the platform like this, this is an uh, 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 example of product uh, also provided by SAP, we call it Ariba. Yeah. And in the world, a uh, couple of vendors provide similar platform. So uh, the key elements here I would like to recap is self-service, paperless, all digital, and our procurement team just set up all the information into the platform, okay? The platform to collaborate with supplier and the colleagues in the company. So one central landing page to cover all the buying channels and business rules are set up there for compliance done by system, okay? So those are the concepts. We call it guided buying.